Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this classic uh, fantasy cartoonistic looking cart. Okay. So we're going to start with the roofing and then we will build the rest of the body. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating a cube. Okay, so let's make it a bit um, squashed down, shorter maybe a bit longer here right so I'll go ahead and uh, change the number of divisions here so let's say we'll add um, three or maybe four divisions here and add a couple of divisions no um, for the depth let's add a couple of divisions here okay so this is going to be one uh, piece of the tile so I'll actually just make it three okay so it is uh, better to have less number of divisions so that the file size becomes less and the number of polygons also uh, becomes less but at the same time we need to make sure that uh, we get enough uh, detail to work with okay so um, that's the basic shape that we want so what I'll do is I'll add some um, bevel here so I'll go ahead and choose edge double click on this edge uh, double click on this one double click on this one and probably I want to do the same for the bottom here so let's say double click double click double click and I'll go ahead and just choose um, bevel here so shift right click and bevel and um, maybe I'll add one div one more division here so just to make it a bit more smoother I'm gonna select the object and press 3 so that's how it looks all right so that's uh, perfect for now um, might have to just do a little bit of extrude here just to make these guys a bit more um, sharp so just one extrude there and I'll go ahead and press 3 once again okay so that looks perfectly fine now if you think it's a little uh, thicker you can uh, make it a bit thinner just by using the scale tool um, if you're not sure how I'm changing these um, tools uh, the shortcut key is W for move uh, E for rotate and R for scale okay so if you just use those shortcut keys you can also uh, get this done right so I'll just keep it uh, back in its origin and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some copies of this so let's go ahead and just select the scale uh, move tool and press control D to make a duplicate okay and I'm gonna move this uh, just next to it okay so uh, try not to have any gaps between them and try to make sure that it's touching exactly uh, one another. Uh, if you want, you can actually use the top view and press 4 to precisely place them, right? So even if uh, they're overlapping a little bit, that's not a problem because when we smooth it, it is going to be looking perfectly fine. So once we made this first uh, duplicate by pressing Control D, now what we can do is we can actually press Shift D which will actually do the duplicate with the last transformation that we did. So if I just if I just keep on pressing the Shift D, it's actually going to make a lot of copies. So uh, we can make as much as you want. <clears throat> now it will actually show us a count here. Uh, this is 18 copies, so I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to finish there. So now we got these 18 copies. I'm going to select all of them. Now I'm in sub object mode, so let's just go back to the object mode. And there you go. So. I'm going to press E to get my rotation tool. I'm going to rotate it um, 90, sorry, 45 degrees. So let's say minus 45 here. Okay. So uh, with that, I'm just going to make some more copies. So I'll go ahead and choose uh, move tool here and press Control D. Uh, this time, maybe I'll use the front view so I can actually get a clear position here. So let's just uh, do that. Or maybe somewhere here. Okay. okay that's looking good now one little change that we have to do is um, these tiles they're not actually going to be exactly one on top of another so uh, I'll just press control is it to select that those guys and what I have to do is I have to just uh, make it like this so we can actually be more precise here so let's try to keep them um, exactly in the gap that's perfect okay so now we will have one extra over here so we can just delete that out okay or you can actually make one more extra here so that's up to you 
Now we basically have two sets and now we can actually create the total height. So I'm going to select all these guys. I'm going to press control D and I'll go back to the front view here and I'm going to pull this up. Okay. So you can uh, just be approximate. You don't have to be 100% precise here. So uh, I'm just trying to keep him um, just this much distance. So I'll just say oh, that looks almost fine. Okay, so I'm going to press Shift D once again, uh, and maybe one more time, so we get uh, all these copies, so it looks like uh, the roof. Okay, so if you want, you can actually have one more, so <laughs> there's no limit in terms of how many you want to have, depends on uh, the kind of drawing that you have, or concept art that you have, uh, you can just make those decisions. Okay, so once we got that, I want to make some more changes here, just to distort it a bit, so... For distortion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these guys, uh, press Control G to group them all together. And now what I have to do is I will go ahead and um, apply a deformer here. So uh, hopefully you'll be working in modeling. So let's just move on to rigging section. And there you'll find deform tool. Um, and there we need to find uh, something called lattice. Okay. So if I just go to the options, uh, I'm just going to leave everything in default. I'll hit reset and create. That's perfect, okay? So if you want to have uh, further divisions, we can actually add them. But for now, I think I'm okay with this, right? So what I want to do is I want to actually create a uh, bend here instead of just keeping them straight. So uh, I'll just go ahead and choose right click and I'll go to lattice points. So it gives us these control points, which we can actually select them and just deform uh, the shape, okay? So I'm gonna choose the uh, front view here. I'll select these two, got basically three three of these. And then I'll just pull this to the front. As you can see, it actually distorts it. And I can just pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna just do the same for this guy also. Now, if we uh, take a look here, so you can see that uh, previously it was just uh, straight. Now it is a bit more curved. Okay, so that's exactly the result that we wanted. So I'll go ahead and just exaggerate a bit more. So. We can even just move these guys. Okay, that's too much. Uh, maybe like so. Maybe like so. Okay, so um, make sure that it does not uh, distort it crazy. Um, should be fine, I guess. Okay, uh, we can actually check them here. Yeah, that looks okay. Now what I want to do is I want to apply one more lattice on top of this. So let's just finalize this shape. So let's just go back to the selection of the object. I'm just selecting one of them and press up, press up arrow to select uh, the group. And now what I want to do is I want to go to edit and then choose uh, delete by type history. So that basically removes the history information along with the history. The lattice also goes off. Okay, so we're going to apply one more ladder. So let me just click on it once again so we get that shape. And I'm going to choose um, deform and choose lattice. Okay, so this time I want to add uh, some more details here. So let's say uh, we go to S division, uh, not that one. Uh, U division, I'll just add uh, maybe two or three. Two should be fine, I think. Uh, better to have less number of divisions, it makes things much easier for us. Uh, to work with so I'm just gonna keep TS3 so that should be fine now what I want is I want uh, the front side to be smaller and then back side to be a bit bigger okay so let's just go ahead and choose lattice point once again click on these guys and just pull it up okay so I'll, I'll do the same thing for this guy and we can just keep on doing this until we get the result that we wanted Okay, just select these guys, pull it up, select these guys, pull them like so, and keep on doing that. Um, if it looks like it's too much distorted, we can actually compensate that by just pushing these guys up a little bit, and I'll do the same for these guys also. So uh, we can do the same thing uh, by pushing them outwards. So let's say select these two guys and just push them out like so. And this one will go a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that there's a little bit of distortion there. And this guy can, can also come here. Okay, so make the distortion until uh, you get the desired 
result that you wanted. Okay, so we'll keep it there, keep these guys up. Okay, maybe distort it a bit more here, a bit more this way. I think that looks good. Okay. Now, once we are finished with that, we can actually go ahead and select this guy and um, press up arrow to select the entire group and go to edit and choose delete by type history. So that gets rid of the uh, lattice deformer that we had. Okay, so next thing is we need to create this uh, roof area. So for that, I'm going to use a cube. So let's say we'll start with a cube and uh, go to the side view that gives us better uh, View here so let's just place him somewhere here okay so from there I just want to do some extrude either I can just uh, keep on extruding to get the shape or we can just make one, one extrude and from there we can actually uh, make the other shape so let's just select this guy just do an extrude I'm gonna push it somewhere here so let's say um, somewhere here I'll do one more extrude, push him here, one more extrude uh, till the end here. Okay, so now we can actually make for the tweaks here. So I can make this guy a little bit taller here as it goes on. Okay, uh, this side is going to be smaller, so keep this up here. Maybe I'll just push this a little bit like so. Okay, so as you can see, we are actually um, having this roof in a little wrong location. So I'll just select one, press up arrow to select the entire group, go to the front view and just push all these guys um, like so. Now we can just keep it uh, a little bit like so, that should be fine. As long as it is staying inside, it's good, no problem. Uh, if needed, we can actually keep him right in the middle also okay so that's one side and now what we need to do is we need to actually make this a bit more smoother so i'll just add a couple of more divisions here so let's say i can select all these edges and choose uh, shift right click and choose connect components so that's one method we can add an edge loop here so uh, once we're done that with that we can actually make some more changes here or I can also select the object, uh, shift right click and choose insert edge loop tool and that way also we can get him here. So let's say select him, just tweak the shape. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple more here. So let's say one here and I'm just going to push this down a bit. This guy's going to be straight here. So I'll add um, up there just add some more here okay and maybe one more here so let me just go ahead and select this guy bring it down bring him down a bit like so okay and there you go now what we can do is if I press 3 you will see that it becomes like a cylinder which we don't want we want to keep it more like a uh, uh, rectangle shape so I'll just double click on this double click on this and we'll also double click on these guys basically select all these guys okay and I will double click on this double click on this to get all these edges here okay and I'm going to shift right click and choose uh, bevel edge here so that gives us a bit more softer result I'm going to just add the divisions here so let's say two three maybe yeah and now if I press 3, you can see that we have a nice um, soft result. Okay, so we'll ignore the last edge because we need to make some more shapes there. So I might have to tweak this area a bit more because we want to have uh, some more softer result instead of just sharp results. So I'll actually add an edge loop here. So let's say one, maybe one more here. Let's add one between each of them. Okay, so now whenever you are adding uh, edge loops, make sure that you're actually tweaking the shape. 
to match the flow of it so uh, either you in change the one that we have inserted or you can change um, the one that was already there right so this needs to come down a bit or maybe this one needs to go up okay okay so if there's a problem it'll be visible when we just smooth it out so if it looks good no problem everything is good perfect so in this area now we're going to create a nice fancy uh look so to do that we need to first have a curve so let's go to curve tools uh, choose ep curve tool or cv curve tool whichever you like go to the side view we're going to start from somewhere here so let's say one point and the second point is going to be here so that's going to be just flowing like so and i'm going to have one here maybe one here one here one here one here one here and press enter now after we creating after creating that also we can still make changes here so let's say uh, this is going to go like so maybe that's too close i'll just select both these guys uh, move them something like that okay and this is going to be like so or maybe I'll just select all these guys and just move them uh, up. Okay. Okay. So now, once we get a uh, desired shape there, uh, we're going to go back to face mode. So let's select this face. Shift select this curve. Okay. And now we're going to press shift, right click, and choose extrude face. So generally when we do extrude, it just extrudes from there. Now it actually extrudes till the end of this curve and we need to see it. Uh, to see it, we need to actually add more divisions. So if I just add divisions, you can see that we get a nice shape there, right? So now we need to actually make this edge to be a bit smaller. So to do that, um, we don't have an option here. So let's just go down, scroll down all the way to taper, okay? So the taper is one by default, let's make it um, not zero maybe 0.2 that looks good or maybe 0 0.1 0 0.1 that's perfect okay so we get that nice little result there if i press three we can actually see how that looks that is beautiful okay looks like the tail of a um, uh, chameleon okay so now the best part when we do uh, these kind of extrudes is like even after we get the result, we can still modify uh, the shape of it with the help of this um, curve. So let me just get back to the curve and then I can actually choose the control vertex. I'm going to choose this side view to make things easier for us. Okay, so now you can still make changes here. So let's say if I select these control vertex, I can actually pull them uh, to change uh, the shape. Okay, so I'm happy with the result that I have, so I'll just leave it as it is. If you want to make changes, you can do that, but this will uh, stop affecting once you uh, delete the history. So if I go to delete the history of this object, now the, um, the shape is no more controllable by these vertices. So now if I just choose these vertex and change the curve, it is not going to modify uh, anything uh, from the uh, shape. Okay, so now we can actually get rid of this curve. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so once we got that, we can actually make a duplicate of this, um, uh, the, the roof to the other side. So for doing that, I'm just gonna select all of them. It's a group. And I need to actually change the pivot point of the group uh, to the center. So by pressing uh, insert key or D key in the keyboard. And I'm gonna press X to get a grid snap, so that's gonna snap it exactly onto the origin here. Okay, press insert once again, and now this time we're gonna make a duplicate, so I'm gonna press Control D to make the duplicate, and we need to make a mirror to the uh, X axis minus, so I'll choose X scale, and I will write minus one, so that gets me in the other side. Okay, so that's perfect. So next thing that we want to do is we want to just uh, hide this problem that we have here. Uh, you can see that there's a little uh, missing tile. So we can actually hide that by creating a little uh, shape there. So I'll go ahead and choose create polygon primitives cube. Okay. So uh, this cube is going to be basically an extrude uh, coming from down here to up here. 
Uh, I'm gonna just push this up. Okay, we can zoom in much closer to see exactly uh, what we're working with. And that's gonna be there. Okay, it, ha it can be a little bit to the front to make sure that it's gonna hide uh, both these areas. Okay, now I'm gonna press four. We don't want one side of this because we can actually mirror to the other side. So I'm gonna just select these two guys, uh, these four vertices, press X and just click and drag to the center, okay? So now this way, if I just make one side, I can actually mirror to the other side. I'll go ahead and choose face. I'm gonna select this face, delete it, okay? And we're gonna extrude from this side. So we're gonna keep this uh, starting area there as it is. I'm going to extrude this, bring it out, bring it down. Now, never move um, in the perspective view from the center, so that'll give you weird results. So, better to use a front view. So, I'm going to use the front view here, uh, bring it all the way here, and I'm going to choose these vertices. I can actually snap it down somewhere there and snap this somewhere there. Okay. So let's make sure that we're having the nice result. Okay. Uh, only thing is I need to bring them a bit more down. So I'll select all of them, bring them down. Okay. It can't be skinny from the side, isn't it? That's okay. We'll leave it as it is. Now I need to add more divisions in between. So to make the uh, curvy shape. Again, you'll use the front view here. So let me choose uh, all these edges. Shift right click connect components, double click on that. Just bend it to get the shape that we want. Okay, we'll continue doing that. Double click, push it up. Okay, select these, um, connect components and double click, move in like so. Okay, so if you think I'm teaching too fast, you can actually pause or rewind um, and watch again. That's the advantage of having a, a lecture being recorded in a video. So you can actually rewind, play again, or watch the whole video over and over again. Up to you. Good. So next thing that we want to do is we want to have a copy of the same to the other side. Okay, so to do that, we need to make sure that we have the object right in the center. Okay, so that's perfect. So now we're gonna make a mirror from one side to the other side, okay? So for doing this, make sure that you're in uh, modeling status and go to mesh tools or mesh, yes. So in mesh, there is something called a mirror. Okay, so let's go to options here. Let's just reset everything. So I think the default value should work fine. So I'll hit mirror. Okay, so now you can see that we got the same guy uh, with an extra copy in the other side, okay? And now this tool has an advantage unless uh, the way we did before for the uh, copy, we did the duplicate here. Uh, this one, what it does is it actually makes the mirror and makes these two objects together as a single object, okay? So now if it, you can see that it's actually merged together into one object. Okay, so if I just go ahead and choose this vertex, you can see that it's not going to be two vertices here, it's actually one single vertex, okay? So it actually makes a duplicate and it actually combines the objects together and it also merges the vertices together. Uh, so it's just one tool for three different tasks, okay? So that way we get um, the final result there. Okay, so next thing that we wanna do is we wanna create um, the inside area. Okay, now if you think that uh, these are little issues that you have here, so what we can do is we can actually select just those vertices, we can just push them inside to avoid those problems. Okay, or you can actually do uh, more changes here to this guy to make it look nice, right? So now if I press three, you can see that it actually becomes like so. If you don't want that result, you want more of a squarish uh, appearance. So I'm gonna double click on this, shift double click on this, shift double click on this, and shift double click on this. So all those things there. I wanna select these guys also, okay? 
these guys also and we're gonna apply a bevel so shift right click and choose bevel edge there you go maybe a bit too much there so let's just reduce it to something like that I'm gonna add a couple of segments here so let's say two three there you go press three so yeah that's perfect okay so next thing that we can do is we can actually make a duplicate of that same same object and you can actually make a duplicate of the same object to bring it to the back. So let's press Control D and move it all the way back. Now the size is a little issue, so what we can do is we can actually just scale it up and see if it fits. I think that's perfectly fine. So next thing that we want to do is we want to actually cover this area, front and back. So I'll start with a polygon cube here. So let's just make it a bit bigger, maybe a bit small like so, okay. And we can actually try to put him uh, the place that we want. It's too wide, let's make it smaller here, okay. And I want to actually add some divisions, um, height divisions basically, so because we need them to get the shape that we wanted here. So now I'm actually going to see both these views to make sure that it's going to fit in. So let's just go ahead and choose vertex, select all these vertices, uh, make it smaller so that it goes in like so. Select these guys, make it smaller. Select these guys, make it smaller. Select these guys, make it smaller. Select these guys and make it smaller. Okay. Okay, so I think I may have to make some little change here also, this guy. Vertex plus four. It's actually not going to be visible at all. I can actually delete that also anyways okay so now let's just move on and make some more details here so let's say uh, I want to have some kind of uh, um, display hanging thingy here so for that I'm going to choose a cylinder here so let's just go ahead and just right click or rotate that 90 degrees I'm gonna make uh, the number of divisions to be less we don't need 80 so let's just make it something like 8 because we can actually smooth it out so I'll just push it up here so make it smaller and I'm actually going to um, reshape this anyway so let me just check and make sure that it's not too thick okay something like that and then I'm going to reshape this by just choosing these guys, just push it up, these guys, push them down, and okay, select it. I can actually bring it a little bit outside, like so. That looks good. And I need to, if I just smooth it out, it'll look uh, more like a too much uh, curvy. So I'm just going to double click on that and apply a bevel here and that's too much maybe less like so okay maybe two point two or three okay and add some actually point two is good enough okay let's give zero point two that's perfect i'm gonna add a couple of divisions here good i'm gonna press uh, three now to see how that looks Okay, it's still getting round. Uh, let me just add a couple more divisions here. So let's say insert edge loop tool. I'm going to add one here. Okay, add one here. 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 
So those are the areas that I wanted to be more cornered. So let's press three. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Good. So next thing that we want is we need to make a um, little extrude coming from here. So um, I'm going to create it with another cylinder. Now keep in mind, uh, when you have small pieces, it is always better to uh, use different pieces instead of trying to create everything from a same piece. Okay. So uh, let's extrude and it all, it's also easier for us later to do the um, texturing. Okay, so try to have as many number of small pieces as possible. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller here. So let's say I'm going to start from here, something like that. Okay, and um, I want to have this sticking out. So let's just make it a bit smaller here. So let's say something like that. Okay. Okay. So from this, I want to have uh, one more extrude here. So let's say push it out like so. And I can actually make this as sharp as possible. Tiny little thingy. So yeah, that should be fine. And then I want to add a, a division here. So let's say, oops, select him and go to insert edge loop tool. I'm going to just add one here and this is going to be made like so. So that looks more like a arrow there. So let me just go ahead and double click on this. Maybe just push him a little bit like so. Okay. Now, depending on how much sharp you want it to be, you can actually push that forward. Okay. So now we need to actually add more divisions here. So let's say, uh, I think the total, the whole thing is too big. Maybe I'll just select everything, make it smaller. Yeah. Okay. So now what I want is I want to add uh, more divisions here. So let's say uh, insert edge loop tool. So let's just add one here. And I'm going to look at the side view to make things a bit more easier. So like so. And I can actually select all these guys and do something like that yes okay so now we need to add more divisions so let's select shift right click choose inset edge loop tool and just rotate it like so just bring this down oops bring this down and add more divisions here just rotate it like so bring this down okay the more divisions that you add the much nicer uh, the shape becomes so add as much as possible just like so. okay so now we can actually just select this guy and choose a uh, bevel that is going to have a little bit of less fraction because it needs to be uh, more sharper I'll do the same thing for this guy bevel make it smaller as small as possible and then we can actually add divisions here so let's just go ahead and do that and a couple more divisions here so let's say add one here add one here and let's just see if can smooth it yes that's exactly the shape that we wanted now you can see that it's actually not uh, touching there in the corner so let's just go ahead and select uh, face okay so that basically we want to select this face that is inside okay so press one again now from the side view I just want to extrude it and push it inside so let's say extrude face and we're gonna push it inside like so if you want you can actually make it bigger um, just do okay shift extrude once again okay so this will basically uh, get that shape going inside. So if I press 3 and we check that as now it looks like it's actually coming from down there. Looking good. Now we want to have a little bit of uh, support that's coming from here. So the same way as we created this shape, we're going to do that. Two shapes this time. So we're going to start with a circle. So let's say it's going to be perfect. 
a circle, so you can actually start with a circle. 90 degrees. Okay, so make it smaller and we can actually push it up. So one circle is there, we're going to create another circle. So create curve tools, CV curve tool or EP curve tool, it's what it is. So I'll start from here. So let's say one, and then we're going to go two, three, four. Okay, that's going to touch there. Okay. Okay, and then five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that should be fine. Okay, if you want to have more, you can have. So that freedom is there. So now uh, to get this shape, we're going to uh, use another tool. So let's say select this guy first. I'm going to select this curve first and shift select this one. Okay, and then we're going to go to um, we're going to go to surfaces tool. Okay, and there you'll find something called uh, extrude here so let's go to options uh, we're going to choose a couple of things here so let's say uh, we're gonna have this tube shape and we want the shape to be at path okay and the pivot is going to be component and uh, we want the orientation to be in the paths direction right and the resulting shape is going to be polygon and we want to have quads not triangles okay and we want to uh, <clears throat> the shape based on the number of control points. So click extrude here. So that's what we get. We can do a couple of things. So let's say first one, I'm gonna change the scale. That's making it look a bit nicer. I can actually select the circle and rotate him. Okay, so that's basically it's showing in black color because it's actually showing the wrong side. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. So we need to make a couple of more changes here. So let me just change the size of the curve. That can make it a bit smaller. Yes, there you go. So that's one thing that we can do. Plus, we can also just select this guy. Okay, go to control vertex. Okay, select these and just push them like so. To give some space there. Okay, oops. like that and there you go so now if I just press 3 so you can see that it's smooth and that looks nice okay now we can uh, once we made this extrude now it is actually a polygon object so uh, whatever kind of changes that you want to make you can do so so first I'll just go ahead and delete the history so that it actually removes the uh, connection between the curves so I'm going to extrude the shape I'm just gonna push it in so if I just go in I can see that uh, it's going in there okay so now if you want to smooth this uh, further you can actually add more divisions here so let's say insert edge loop tool so that will do that and I can actually tweak this uh, further to make more modifications so I can actually add a, a connect components here so let's say do that push this down okay so select these guys and do the same connect components and that's also going to make such changes okay so if you think that it's uh, not smooth enough you can uh, add more details or if you're just okay with the result that you get you're fine so with this we will finish uh, part one of uh, building this cart and we'll continue with the rest of the uh, model in the second part, part number two. Okay, thank you.